I began cleaning my daughter's room. There was a lot of things lying around. I wanted to rearrange it actually, so I took apart the uh, the whiteboard, put that in the cupboard because we don't use that so often at the moment, and I moved around all of her things. It's really annoying because the only source of energy is on the other side so I have to put a long cable going across so I just cut the tag off that we never leave baby in the room alone so um, yeah but we also turn off the electricity on the wall and unplug so here just cleaning up all of the bits and pieces and opening up a fresh box of nappies and these ones were so cute they were piglet and I love them I have this little box here for after shower time. It's got all of the essentials that we need. And then I just made it a little bit more presentable on top. Put some bunnies for Easter theme. We also put these PowerPoint protectors into the wall to keep baby safe. I went around and vacuumed the carpet. I also put these mats down just to protect it that little bit more. And I'm finally getting around to changing the one pink box in this big cube chest thing. <laughs> now it's all matching. I gathered all of the dirty textiles ready to take to the washing machine. I first needed to actually clean the washing machine on the outside and a little bit on the inside. I put my washing inside of the washing machine. I use this Cousins Bliss powder. I don't know why I have this. Um, I'm just trying to use it up, so I added in. I've got the Fab um, Laundry Liquid specifically. Do not use a fabric conditioner. That just stains my clothes. So Laundry Liquid is the way to go. Comfort uh, scent beads. They are incredible. Along, so the beads with the Fab together, it's... Fab. So I took off some clothing that was drying in the garage, ready to put into cupboards. And I just needed to tidy up this outdoor area, I had a random towel, turn the chairs around and put all of the balls back in the ball pit like pool thing there's no water but it's just balls she loves it got rid of this plant that sadly died i guess i was having a bit of a rearranging day today and i wanted to move the little living room around so i put the tv on the wall and the couch facing it I also found in the garage my connection pieces for the vacuum so I was able to really sort of clean the the couch here and the pillows behind are actually attached to it so can't, can't take those out but I did vacuum in and behind them. to put a sheet on top of the couch just so that it doesn't get super super stained um, it's not the most beautiful couch to begin with but 
Um, it's easier to wash a sheet than it is to clean the couch itself. The kitchen always looks like a bomb site. Um, if it's clean, it usually lasts about 30 minutes and then it's back to the way it was. There's always something to do in the kitchen. I found that the best combo is to use a dishwashing powder. I just use the Woolworths brand one. I put it in this fancy bottle and I rinse aid. And then I cleaned all of the kitchen. It was pretty cloudy outside, so I decided to hang the washing again inside. Um, it's always your safest bet, especially because I had things that I needed to wear shortly after. Honestly, the smell of the garage coming in after hanging the washing is incredible because the scent beads, the fab liquid, together it creates this delicious smell. And yeah, I actually randomly wanted to iron a few things today, a few skirts that needed it. I hope that you have the motivation to clean your house now and have a wonderful day. <laughs>